morning all and today I'm looking at the uh, wearable data display project which uh, has the OLED display and currently I've got uh, four fields of data from the packet being received and uh, if you remember this is the one that has the Arduino Pro Mini the 3.3 volt version and the NRF 24L01 plus data transceiver and a little LiPo battery pack. So this is uh, the wearable project Mark 1, but now we have Mark 2. So what I've done here is I've attached the OLED directly to the Arduino Pro Mini with little wire links. Now this is the 1.3 inch OLED, so it's the uh, slightly larger type, but it matches the size of the Pro Mini quite well. And then on the other side of the Pro Mini, the NRF 24L01 Plus transceiver is also wired in directly into pins of the Arduino. And I did get quite lucky with some of the pin alignments. So here are the links between the OLED and the Pro Mini. And you can see that most of them are just straight wire runs. Uh, ground happened to line up with ground. VCC though had to have a little wire running to the opposite side of the board. Now the NRF transceiver is slightly more awkward because it's got these two rows of pins but in the upper row we don't use pin 8 because that's the IRQ so in fact there's only three pins to worry about and I wired those in just with wire links running back to the pins on the Arduino. One of the problems here is that three of these pins um, have to go to three specific pins on the Pro Mini. There's no flexibility in that because they're for the hardware SPI. Now for ground and VCC, I put a capacitor through pins one and two on the NRF, and then I use the wire legs to run around to VCC, which happens to be on the board there, and ground, which I picked off the back end of this tantalum capacitor. And then the only other thing I've done is I've put a connector between ground and raw, raw being the 3.7 volts input from the LiPo, uh, because they just happen to be uh, next to each other there, and I thought the connector was a nice little addition. Now, this isn't just a mock-up. This one actually works. So this is currently receiving packets of data from the transmitter. There are four integers in each packet. Those are the four fields on the display. The transmitter incidentally is over here. That's the Arduino Uno with the lithium battery pack. Now if you're thinking that this unit isn't very wristwatch sized, and uh, just for comparisons, here's a pocket watch. Well, the point about the way that the display has been attached to the Pro Mini is that the display folds around the back. Now I probably should have made these wire links a little bit longer but the idea is that this folds like that and if I carried on bending oh my display seems to have gone off let's just see why that is yes if I carry on bending this display all the way around to the back you'll end up with a square which will be the OLED sitting in front of this area here with just a little bit of this poking out the top. But then that's not such a bad thing because that's the antenna. And that won't look too bad. It'll look a bit like this retro mobile phone. But I don't want to bend that back just yet because while I'm working on this thing, I'd like this just to be flat. Now you may have noticed that the display keeps going off. And I think this might be an issue with the regulator on this Pro Mini. Um, on the other Pro Mini, on the wearable Mark 1, I didn't have any problems. Now I'm just wondering whether A, this display is drawing more current, and B, this regulator doesn't have quite such good low dropout performance, and it's actually causing uh, the voltage on the display to dip long before the battery has actually become discharged. Not sure about that one yet. Now, one of the other things that needs to be done is somehow this uh, battery stack with its various circuit boards has to be brought 
uh, into here somewhere and integrated into this. And I was thinking with the display folded around the back, there will actually be a gap between the display and the Pro Mini and the LiPo certainly, and possibly the charger board, the TP4056 board could be sandwiched between them. And then it's just a case of finding a place for the little uh, LiPo fuel gauge, the Max 17043 board. So this is the uh, wearable data display in its Mark II form. And uh, when this is sandwiched and folded over, it'll be quite dinky and sit quite nicely there on my wrist. Now my idea is to incorporate the transmitter into my MPPT solar charge controller project. And then I can wander about with this data display device on my wrist watching live data as it happens some distance away from the uh, transmitter system.